the beginning of the film, a ride is shown, whose name was Dark Ride, which is also the name of this film. You must know about Dark Ride. A mysterious and scary place where people used to have a lot of fun with this ride. Going on this ride means inviting your death. Because an unknown murderer kills the people who go on this ride. So the story begins, from 1989, where two girls came for a walk in the park. There was a ride in that park which was very scary. One of the two girls tells her sister, why don't we go on this ride? But his sister says no, we should not go. But the elder sister refuses and takes the younger sister with her. They both now go to a counter. Where a very strange old man was sitting. That man's son was sitting there playing chess. The old man asks both the girls to go and see this ride. Because it is very dangerous. Now when both the sisters went inside, they got scared. The view inside was very scary. Then a hand comes from above, which takes one of the two sisters. Seeing this, the other sister gets very scared. And reaches a strange room. There he sees a dead girl. Then a person comes in front of him, who is wearing a doll's mask. She gets scared seeing him. Then that man removes the cloth from there. That dead child was none other than his sister. Then the man kills the other sister as well. After which the news of these two girls is published in the newspaper. In which it was written that the killer of these two has been arrested and sent to jail. And that ride was closed forever. Now we are shown the story of the present. Where a girl was telling her story. And she says, here we see a girl, Kathy. Who was talking to her friend. So I will describe myself as Kathy. We were going on a journey. Here my friend asked, do you want to take your old friend on this trip? I said yes, to go on this trip, a lot of money is needed. So I think we should take them with us on this journey. And that will help us financially as well. On the other side was my old friend, and his best friend whose name was Bill. Both were talking about going on this trip. Bill says that I will not go on this trip alone. They all were ready to go on the trip. Then we got together, and met outside the college. Here another friend came with us. Because he had a car. So we didn't have any problem in going. Then we all left for our trip. On the way we stopped our car at a gas station. And we put gas in the car. Now when my friend asked Bill to go inside and give the money. And when he went to give the money, a man was sitting inside. Who was not saying anything. Bill comes and tells us that a strange man is sitting inside. Who is not saying anything. Well, we all went to him. And we gave the money to that old man. Then we got an ad there, in which it was written that after 20 years the dark ride is opened again. We got very excited after reading all this. Because we had heard a lot about this ride. So we decided to go there. On the other hand, a mental hospital is shown. Where two wardens were going to the killer's room. The one who killed two sisters 20 years ago. He was imprisoned there for so many years. Two wardens started beating him. But the murderer had redeemed himself. Because he was too tall. And very strong too. He hit a warden on the stomach with such force that he died. When the other warden tries to escape from there. Then he kills her too. Then stole the keys and ran away. On the other hand, we all were quite excited to go on the dark ride. But a friend of ours says so. That we will stay at the hotel tonight. And then we go out on the dark ride tomorrow morning. But here's what Bill told us. Why don't we go on a dark ride tonight? This way our hotel expenses will also be saved. And we'll spend the night there. We also agreed with his words. And set out for the dark ride. On the way when we were going, we met a girl who stopped our car, and wanted to take lift from us. But I told Bill that we should not stop the car. We can't trust a stranger like this. But still Bill stopped the car. That girl sat inside our car. I asked him where do you want to go? She told us that I will go a little further and get down. Me and my friend asked the girl. Aren't you afraid? You are walking alone in the night. It is possible that the girl may not have liked the thing. She said that I can take care of myself. Our friend who was driving the car told the girl that we are all going on a dark ride. The girl said that this is a very interesting place. Can I go with you too well, after some time we all reached there. When we reached there, we saw that the police officer was taking away the owner of the ride. Means the ride was closed. My friend told us that we will quietly go inside the ride. We won't have to buy tickets, and it'll be a lot of fun. I didn't like the idea at all. I didn't want to go inside. I told my friend that you guys go. I'll stay here and wait for you guys. But my friend convinced me. Now, I also went inside with them. My friend turned on the power of the dark ride. Due to which all the lights got burnt. And we went inside. When we went inside and saw, the sight was very scary. There were scary things inside. Seeing whom we were scared. My friend got a doll. With whom he jokingly started dancing. But when he saw that doll ahead, 
The doll's face was missing. It was the same murderer who had escaped from the lunatic asylum. The one who killed two sisters 20 years ago. And the same murderer was wearing a mask of the doll's face. But we didn't know anything about it. That the murderer is here. And he's there watching over all of us. Anyway we were there too. And we were roaming around in the dark ride. Here my friend tells that earlier two sisters were murdered here. After which this ride was closed. He was talking about those two sisters. Which we saw in the beginning of the story. He tells that the owner here was an old man. Who has adopted two young children. One of them was insane. He was always here in the dark ride. And here he started copying these dolls. At that time his age was only five years. It seemed too long. I heard that the murderer has been put in jail. And he was hanged. And since his death, this place is closed. Bill says no, it is not true. I think this is half true. Because the sisters you are talking about were my cousins. I came to know from his parents, that after his death, the murderer was sent to a mental asylum. He is still alive. He's locked up there. I and all my friends were surprised to hear Bill's words. And now everyone was scared too. Well we started roaming in that ride. Then my friend came into the room with another friend of ours. Where they saw my dead body. My throat was badly cut. Seeing whom both of them got very scared. And then I started laughing. Because I was joking with him. Bill was also with me. This made my other friends very angry. He didn't like the joke at all. Now we all decided to leave from here. But when we got to the door. So the door was not opening. We all thought that someone had locked us from outside. We all started looking for a way out. When my friend went inside the room. Then he saw the killer there. Then the killer switched off all the lights there. When a friend of ours went to fix the light. Even after this the lights could not be fixed. Me, my friend and Bill on the other hand were very upset. We wanted to get out of here somehow. Then my friend saw a doll there. Who looked exactly like our friend. When my friend looked at her carefully. Then came to know that, this is our friend. Who was killed by the killer. We all started crying seeing his condition. And we were very scared. Now Bill quickly went from here to that friend. Who had gone to fix the lights. But Bill was late in reaching. That killer had killed that girl too. Who had taken lift from us on the way. His head, he had cut off. And she was lying on the floor. The other friend, when he was running from the killer. Who had gone to fix the lights. So he fainted. The murderer had left my friend. But he lifted the severed head of the girl. And left from there. On the other hand, I told my friend. That you go and find a way out. I'm looking for my other friends. When my friend was going to find the way. So the killer caught him too. And threw it away. Due to which my friend's life was in danger. That murderer took my friend's dead body. And went to the room. Where he also found my friend. Who had fainted some time ago. Now the killer was after him. Two police officers who were sitting outside in their car. He gets a call. And it is said that the dark ride is making a lot of noise. So they have to go inside and check. Is everything okay or not? Just then a security guard came inside the dark ride. He saw me the guard asked me. I told him that there is a murderer. Who is killing my friends mercilessly. Then the killer came behind the guard. Joe with his very big knife. Cuts the guard's head in two. He also killed the guard. Seeing this, I started running from there. And jumped from the window, breaking one of my legs. But still I didn't give up. I managed to escape from there, I took out the car. And I left from there. Then my friend's message came. My friend was blind. And he was caught in the dark ride. When I read his message. So then I decided to help my friend. I took the car back to the dark ride. The murderer was about to kill my friend. Then I came there with the car. And I hit that murderer with that car. Due to which the killer fell down on the kilo. And he died. Because of that accident, I also fainted there. Then Bill came there. Which was fine. He said you are dead. Bill said no, I was alive. Then Bill said whether the killer is dead. My friend told him that yes. Kathy hits them with the car. After knowing this, Bill's behavior became strange. He was talking like this. As if he knew the killer very well. From here there is a new twist in the story. Bill told my friend that I'm also the brother of the murderer. The story you told me of those two brothers. I am the one who was right among them. By telling this, Bill also killed my friend by adopting a knife. After which he died. After which I also regained consciousness. Now I knew. That Bill was also linked to the killer. That is, he was his younger brother. Bill thanked me. That I brought everyone here. I gave up that dark ride. After coming out, I started crying a lot. Because of me, in such a short time, all my friends died. 
Maybe it was my fault. I felt very strange thinking about everything. Bill unmasks his murdered brother. And put it on his face. Maybe now he won't even leave me alive. And who knows. That how many people he was going to kill in future. Means both these brothers were mad. At the end of the story, the siren of a police car is heard. Did the police catch Bill? Will this bloodshed continue? Or will it end here? So with this suspense the story of this film ends here.